Hello everyone, welcome back to the Victorian Servitude Challenge. This here is Miss Sylvia in the servants' quarters eating her very, very late breakfast because she and Theodore slept very late because they were, you know, out getting married and stuff in the middle of the night, if you remember from last episode. Um, so she's eating, Theodore is out doing his gardener job and raking underneath the snow, you know, as you do. Uh, <laughs> Peter and Caroline are having a deep conversation because they're concerned about where Sylvia is. They literally don't know that she's hiding in their servant's house. They have no idea she's on their property. So to Peter, she's still missing. So he's, he's really worried about her. Um, so they're talking about that. Um, blah. Eliana is going to chat with Cassandra because she doesn't really get to bond and anything or anything like that. So, they're going to talk and chat. <laughs> Look at those little crazy eyes she's given her. Eliana is so cute. Look at her. She's, she's got crazy eyes. But we love her for it. Look at her. Look at our nutty bean. Aww. Eliana is definitely the type to, like, have a full-blown conversation with a literal baby and have it be, like, like she thinks, like, it makes total sense. You know what I mean? She's like, yeah, yeah, totally. I get that. Yeah, like, tell me more. Because <laughs> she's just so silly. Aww. That is so sweet. She's going to tickle her next. All right, I guess these guys are going to be done talking for now. Um, so, Caroline, if you could actually go upstairs and continue writing. No, wait, they're going to have a birthday party soon. Oh, my goodness. Put on your everyday wear. You look ridiculous. Ooh, um, Amelia should definitely talk to Sylvia and be like, dude, like, what are you doing, kid? <laughs> Friendly. Okay, I guess congratulate her if she knows about it. She is, um, her, what is, what do you, um, her sister's daughter-in-law? She also was her nanny at one point, so we can congratulate her. Oh my god, we can tutor her, because she's still a kid. Isn't that crazy? All right. Guys, Eliana is such a good aunt. Like, I can't believe they were trying to hide her from society, you know? Like, she's such a good person. Like, she's just she just wants to be loved, and she just wants to love. Like, ugh. Which reminds me, I know that people wanted me to find Eliana a love interest, which I have not really been working on at all. <laughs> um, she's still young, though, so we still have time. I mean, kind of. She's not that young. She's probably, like, mid-20s at this point in her life. Um, but anyway, um, we should get a cake and have Cassandra blow out the candles. Oh, Caroline just got a wish to snuggle Cassandra, but I just told her to blow out her candles. So she's gonna not be able to snuggle her. Oh, well. Okay, they're talking, they're talking. Very good, very good. Um, yeah, brighten her day a little bit. Here, no, you should you should actually probably watch the baby age up. Why is she over here? Okie dokie. While she ages up, uh, Sylvia is gonna clean her own plate. Oh, don't lick it clean, you nasty. Um, is your hubby still raking? I'm gonna adjust the snow level again so we can see what he's raking here. You're not getting a job. You're not crashing a party. You have a job. You work for these people. Oh, well, you know. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, hey, you. Hey, you. You can... Um, use this, right? And then you can unclog it. 
So great. Oh, she's going to need a bath as soon as she ages up. She's stinky. Oh, I can't believe little Cassie is going to be a, a little child. Oh, I feel like she was just born. I wasn't even here when she was born. She's so cute. I'm crying. Look at that little angel face. She is so cute. Oh my God. Can you believe how cute she is? Look at this baby. Look at her. Oh my God. I'm screaming. She's so cute. Also, somebody suggested that we need to have like a family reunion kind of dinner. But um, I think we need to um, have, nobody knows where Sylvia is yet. So we need to kind of have them figure that out still in the story. Oh, it's everyone's birthday. It's everyone's birthday. I'm, it's, it's Cassie's birthday and everyone's celebrating for her. Wait, not everyone can celebrate. Sylvia, no. No, you, not you. Oh my God, I'm cheating your bladder. <laughs> I didn't want to do it, but you forced me. You gave me no choice. Here, you unclog it. Sylvia. No. Dingai. You need to stay hidden. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all, don't worry, the video's not over. Just a quick time crashed while I was recording this episode, and it decided to not tell me, as it never does, because my computer sucks. Um, but you just missed, the only thing you missed is um, Cassandra aging up, and also, when she blew out the candles, a fire started, and I'm really upset that I didn't get any screenshots of that or any footage of the fire, because it was really funny. But anyway, I guess we'll jump right back into the game. Okay, so we're back. Uh, sorry about that. My computer sucks, but anyway, here is what little Cassandra looks like. I think she's so cute. I gave her little braids and a sweet little bow. I think she's absolutely freaking adorable. Um, Everyone is asleep, so there's that. Um, we're just gonna resume the timer. Come on, get happy. That song's in my head right now. Particularly the Judy Garland, Barbara Streisand vers <laughs> version. Love them so much. Okay, um, okay, so it's nighttime. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'll cut back in the morning. <laughs> yep, so these two had another risky woohoo. Um, you know, as, as one does, uh, Amelia is sleeping, um, in her bed and I have Anna actually napping on the couch because there's really, there's not enough beds to accommodate all the people now because we've absconded with Sylvia. So, uh, speaking of which, I've gotten a ton of feedback from you guys about what you think I should do with the whole situation, um, regarding all of that. So I think what we're going to do is we're gonna have them get their own house. Um, and I mean, Sylvia definitely, she didn't run away empty handed. Like she, she, I mean, she didn't steal anything from her family, but I mean, she definitely, um, here, wait, don't, don't snap again, hold on. Um, she didn't steal anything from her parents, but no, get up you silly goober, you need to cook. It's breakfast time, kiddo, um, but um, so she didn't steal anything from her family, of course. Like, she's not, like, you know, she's not a thief. She wouldn't ruin her family like that. Um, but she did take some of her own jewelry and some of her own inheritance, you know. So, well, actually, she's the, th the what, the third-born child? She wouldn't have any inheritance. Pfft. But she, she definitely, she took some of her own jewelry and... Um, they pawned it off and, you know, Benjamin had some money tucked away because they were planning on running away for a long time. So, um, Benjamin and Sylvia are actually, they're going to dip. They're just, they're just going to run away, um, off of this property. Um, cause I've gotten a bunch of comments saying like, you know, Benjamin doesn't want to get in trouble with, with Peter because, you know, Peter and, and Caroline are so worried about her, about Sylvia, because she's still missing, technically, and so Peter would be absolutely furious if he found out that one of his servants was hiding her from him. So, um, we're definitely gonna, we're gonna nip that in the bud, and they're gonna just, they're just gonna dip, uh, but before they do, well, they should probably do it in the middle of the night, but before they do, they're going to get up and have some leftovers and, uh, here, have some orange pancakes and 
He's probably, he's going to take a bath before they go too. Um, so they're going to have to find, uh, here. So I had, I got a suggestion from somebody. I don't remember the name, um, but it was to, um, have them get their own house off the property and just have Benjamin, I mean, I've been saying Benjamin this whole time, haven't I? Just have Theodore get paid money instead of getting paid in housing. So he's going to get his own house and move off of the property of his master. And then they're going to just, he's just going to live separately. He's still going to be the gardener, but he's still going to, He's just going to work, um, blah, he's just going to live in a different area. So as to keep his wife a secret for as long as he possibly can. Although, then they would, st no, I don't, I don't want to do that either because then he's still, like, lying to that. I, you know, they should probably just move. They should move to the countryside. This was, this was somebody else's idea. Again, I don't remember the name. I will look them up, I promise. Um, but, um, I'm sorry to keep, um, I do like all of your ideas, uh, for sure. Um, but, oh, Peter, Caroline, Eliana, everyone's awake. Okay. Um, so, but I think, um, what we're going to do actually is we're going to have them move out of the house entirely and just like, kind of like go off the grid for a little bit. Um, just see what would happen with that. Uh, basic outfit, everyday one. Okay, so they're gonna buy a house in the countryside using all of the money that um, Sylvia has gotten from pawning off. Uh, Eliana has a wish to make the bed. I wouldn't make her do it if she didn't have the wish to do it. Um, but, okay. No, don't eat that. No. You're not allowed. Um, here. Uh, call to meal. Caroline, Cassandra, and Pita. And we'll just have Eliana sit down and eat this here comes little Cassandra down the stairs. She's so freaking cute. Wait, I want you to all, I want you all to look at her. She's so cute. Cassandra, hi baby. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with you. You're so cute. She is such a beautiful little girl. Like genuinely is so pretty. Anyway, um, but they're gonna buy a house in the country with the money um, that, she pawned off her jewelry for, and they're just gonna live off the land. They're gonna eat whatever provisions they can grow for themselves, and um, yeah, they'll they'll buy some livestock also with the money that Sylvia like they'll get some chickens um, to sell the eggs for money for the bills. Um, and, excuse you, you can sit somewhere else and eat, Missy. Okay, she's gonna do that. Okay, here. Okay, take bath and then clean house. Okay, so he's eating. All right, I know I said I was gonna move them in the middle of the night, but this kind of took a bit longer than I thought it would. But either way, um, they're gonna move out right now. All right, the deed has been done. The two of them have been moved out. Caroline, no! Stop. I wish I could really make her stop cleaning the dishes like all the time because it makes me mad anyway. Um, but so uh, they've woken up and the gardener is nowhere to be found. So I'm sure they're all really thrilled about that. Um, hey, Cassandra and Eliana, why don't you guys talk a little bit, huh? Give her a birthday. Congratulations. Ask her about her day. Chat. Uh, talk about the cold, talk about the snow. Yeah, just do that. All right, Peter, my dude, you seriously need a bath as well. So come take a bath. Uh, Caroline, when you're done taking a bath, please uh, continue writing Thorns of Peace. Um, Amelia is eating some breakfast. Um, Oh, we need to enroll Cassandra in homeschooling quickly before the t before tomorrow comes. 
Also, you know what? Don't bathe. Just clean the house. I really would like you to clean the house. I would love that very much. Okay, Amelia, when you're done, um, here, clean up. Okay. Great, so I'm gonna put these leftover pancakes in the fridge, yeah. Oh, look at them. Their relationship is going up. So cute, okay. Um, okay, how about we enroll you in homeschooling, huh? How's that sound? Okay, enroll in school. Why don't you do that? Miss Eliana, why don't you paint for us? Huh? Let's see. Paint a medium painting. Okay, um, Anna is gonna go to sleep. Sleep in Amelia's bed because she's dying of, of exhaustion here. And Amelia's helping out by doing the dishes. She's gonna let the poor old lady rest. Okay. That's right, kiddo. You enroll in homeschooling. Yay! Dun, 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 dun. Yay! Good for you, kiddo. All right, can you get some homework? Let's see. Um, there. Okay. All right, Peter is out of the bath. Let's see, make a snow angel. Nah, you're not learning the gardening skill. Um, skate on a pond with Eliana, no. Although, you know what would be so cute? If everybody played in the snow together, I think that would be adorable. And since Eliana is like a childish little nutty bean, she would definitely want to play in the snow. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, all right. Everyone stop what you're doing. Actually, no one's probably in the mood for playing very much because everyone's probably freaking out about Sylvia still. And she probably, she needs to do um, some homework anyway. So you know what? Why don't you get help from your nanny? Scratch that. We're not gonna play outside. Everyone's too freaked out. Okay, her book's going well. Okay. Amelia is stanky. She's gonna need to take a bath really soon. Okay, she's in bed. Her social's so low. Her hygiene's so low. Her energy, so her life is so sad. Although, you know what? She has yet to meet her daughter. And, mm hmm. Oh look, a leaf pile that was left behind because the gardener is gone. <laughs> yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, I'm gonna throw out this newspaper. Okay. She's helping her with some stuff. I hate the stink cloud, so I'm gonna bump up the hygiene. She's still gonna take a bath when she's done. Okay, hi Peter. He's still just sitting in the bathroom. I don't know what to do with you, buddy. Um, his co-workers could use some some schmoozing on too, if that makes any sense. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, oh, well, his dad. Should probably talk to his dad, huh? You know what? We wanted to have a bunch of people in the comments, um, and also I agree. Um, everyone wants to have a big like family reunion type of thing. So I think we should do that in the next episode. Um, but also, uh, they're not gonna, Sylvia's not gonna be there because she is just simply missing. And I don't think she's ready yet to say, to announce where she is or anything. Um, so you know what? Peter is gonna invite his dad over because he didn't really want to chat. So we're gonna invite him over. Oh my God, he has no relationship with his daughter. That is unacceptable. He needs to fix that. He doesn't feel like coming over. What a jerk. Okay, well, you know what? Peter is going to talk to his daughter because he has no relationship with her. Can he tutor her? Does he have any um, 
Here, give her a birthday congratulations. And ask her about her day. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the fire that you started, huh? Funny, make a silly face with your daughter. I guess he doesn't have enough logic skill to tutor her. Although they could play chess together. He would definitely do that. No, don't make a silly face with the nanny. That's freaking weird. <laughs> Here, uh, make a silly face with Cassandra. And then we can play chess together. Play chess with Cassandra. No, after, mm, okay. Um, Amelia, miss, you need to take a bath in the nursery, please. So that you're not in anybody's way. You technically should be doing it in the servant's house, but we'll let it slide this time, okay. Speaking of servant's house, okay, you need to get up. You need to let yourself take a bath. And you also need to socialize very, very badly. I wish there was the, the multitasking thing like there is in The Sims 4 because then she could cook and talk at the same time. And that would just be great. That'd be super great. What are you doing? You talking to your kid or what? Oh, she wants to make a snowman. I really, I do want them to make a snowman, but I feel like it's just not the right time. You know, like it's it's a little, there's a little too much serious stuff going on right now. Aw, making their silly faces and whatnot. What's Cassandra's relationship like with her kid? Okay, she's good friends with her kid. That's fine, that's fine. Oh yeah, and then there's uh, Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, funny stuff. Yeah, we're just gonna let that one go. Um, if the game decides to make it more serious. Oh, I guess we're not playing chess with our dad. All right, well, anyway, she, oh. She probably shouldn't be playing chess anyway. She, she, she should be uh, playing piano. He can, once he gets a higher logic skill, he can tutor her and it'll be, it'll be better that way anyway. Okay, so that was my timer, you guys. Okay, she just got paid for another chapter. Eliana's gonna learn another painting skill. Woohoo! Look at this psychedelic painting we got going on here. So fanciful. Ooh, I love that Caroline has the logic skill. She doesn't have any music talent or any painting talent. She just likes to write and she's really smart. I love that for her. You do you, baby. We love you. We support you. You are valid. You're a queen. Okay. Anyway, guys, so... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I want to just, can we just like look at this sweet little girl? Jam with another sim? No. Like, can we just like look at her playing the piano? Like, she's like literally a perfect angel. I love you. Not to be dramatic or anything, but I would die for Cassandra. <laughs> Um, but anyway, guys. So in the next episode, we'll have a family reunion of sorts. Um... And also, maybe in the next episode is when uh, Sylvia will finally be ready to confess where she's been all this time. Because um, she hasn't wanted to say anything yet because she didn't want her to get, she doesn't want to get caught by Peter. Um, so she's probably going to send a letter um, with uh, no return address, you know. Um, and we'll just see what happens with that. Oh, she's so cute. So yeah, stay tuned for that, you guys. Um, uh, make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And you know, in your comments, let me know what you think of everything. Let me know what you think of sweet little Cassandra. I'm obsessed with her. Um, let me know what you think of them moving out and living off the land. Um, I'll show you guys their house eventually that I just moved them into. Oh. Um, it's very, it should be familiar to you if, if you are a loyal viewer of my channel. Um, it's, I did a speed build of it. It's one of my speed builds. So uh, leave a comment below and see if you can guess which one it is. I mean, it should be kind of obvious considering that I, it, it, it just leave a comment and take a guess what you think, which speed build of mine you think is going to be the one that I'm using for their house. And I do need to do some modifications to it because it's not perfect for the time period or anything, but yeah. So, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you have, look, what house you think we're using, and let me know what you think of all these developments. I'm just rambling now. This is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, guys.